Hi, in this video I'm going to work out two examples of how to calculate the minimum sample size when trying to estimate the confidence interval for a proportion. So the first problem says the following. A doctor wishes to estimate the proportion of MRSA infections of patients at the hospital she works at. The most recent report stated that 14% of patients acquired a MRSA infection at the hospital. She decides to use this value to compute the minimum sample size at a confidence level of 99%. How many patients must she sample? The margin of error is 0 0.05. So first of all, we want to find P hat. P hat is given, that's 14%, 0.14. Q hat is 1 minus 0 0.14, 0 0.86. E is the margin of error, that's 0 0.05. We're given 99%, so we can look that up in table F. and see that the Z value is 2.58. Now we're going to plug this information into our formula. So the minimum sample size for a proportion is P hat times Q hat times Z sub alpha over 2 divided by E squared. So we know P hat is 0.14, Q hat is 0.86, Z is 2.58, E is 0 0.05, quantity squared. We can type that in a calculator. So 0.14 times 0.86 times 0.86 times, let me retype that again, times, let's use parentheses. And so we have 2.58 divided by 0 0.05 and then quantity squared. So that's 320.57. Remember, we always round up to 321. So that's the minimum sample size. Let's look at the second problem. So the second problem states the following. A political strategist is running a campaign and wishes to estimate the proportion of registered voters who will vote for his candidate. The confidence level is 95%. What is the minimum sample size? The margin of error is 3% and the sample proportion is unknown. Well, when the sample proportion is unknown, there's a standard measure we use. We set p hat equal to 0.5. Now, if p hat is equal to 0.5, that means q hat is 1 minus 0.5, which is also 0.5. Margin of error is 3% converts to 0 0.03. Using 95%, we can turn to table F. 95% go all the way down to locate the Z value of 1.96. Plug that information into the formula. We have 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 1.96 divided by 0 0.03 squared. We'll type that in the calculator. So 0 0.5 times 0.5 times 1.96 divided by 0 0.03 and then we're squaring that that's 1067.1111 it just repeats remember we always round up to 1068 and that's our video thanks for watching